Hello everybody, hope you're all doing fantastically well. It is Connor here in another environment. Can you believe it? A different environment and we're back here discussing the latest rumour mill. Hope you're all doing well as I've just mentioned and I hope you're all up to date with the Leeds United news. It looks like potentially Leeds could have a manager by the end of the day. I doubt it. They seem to be really taking their time. So it better be the best appointment we've ever seen everyone in terms of championship level because the amount of time they are taking, it must be meticulous, it must be specific and it must benefit the side overall and I, I think it is it is going to be it's just such a massive appointment for the 49ers they've, they've come in and need to get this spot on if they don't get this spot on and things don't start working quickly for Leeds United I can see a lot of fans turning a little bit but you know on the positive uh, stance I think you know as I've said before I think Vieira is the wrong move I really do I think in charge of a rebuild I think Corbran would have been if I'm honest with you my pick obviously Michael Carrick as you'll see on the Patreon video was my number one pick that will never happen but Corbran would be up there I think at Huddersfield he massively improved them I think he can adapt I think he can be pragmatic with tactics with structures with losing players and he's been to another club as well and, and massively developed West Brom from where they were when he started to where they are or where they finished the um, the championship season last, last last campaign so I think that would have been a really good appointment I can't for the life of me see really why Parker is being considered and Corbran isn't. Obviously, Leeds would have to buy Corbran out of his current contract at West Bromwich Albion, which will cost two to three million quid. But for me, it would be worth it. I really do. I think, as I've said before, he's loyal. It's logical, taking alliteration aside. Um, it is just a good appointment. And listen, it is what it is, but <clears throat> Parker being considered above Corbran, I get it from a a point of his one promotion but I think context wise he's not going to have as good a squad at Leeds as he would have done already set up for him at Fulham and Bournemouth so I've said this multiple times on videos I think Corbrad would be in chat it would be a really good rebuild option I think um I think Farker would be a very good option as well. I think Vieira as a coach is completely limited. And I've, I've mentioned this yesterday, but I think without Conor Gallagher, he just didn't know, he didn't know how to set his side up. He didn't know what to do. And they were leaking goals massively, putting in dire performances, and they couldn't score goals either. And this is with a, a Palace side who were very, very good going forward, even without Wilf Zaha, as we saw to our detriment when Roy came and battered Leeds as, as we melted on that day, that hot sunny day at Ellen Road. But... By the by, I'm hoping this is concluded by the end of the day. I think it would be a really nice start to the weekend. I think, you know, if Leeds are to get this concluded, wrapped up, signed, sealed and delivered, then we can actually start moving. We know Enzo Maresca has come in at Leicester, which I think is a really good appointment. An under-21 manager, worked under Pep Guardiola. And, <clears throat> yeah, presumably they're, they're going to be getting a lot of links um, to a lot of City players, which I think has done Vincent Company the world of good. In, in you know in 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 the championship um obviously he's got links there they've not bought a whole host i think taylor bar barwood uh ellis is, is is one of the one of the the the, the players that they brought in and they might have bought another couple and another brought ian matson in from chelsea but companies links basically were able to you know uh entice those players to come and, and build up good relations with the club the, the, you know the, the parent clubs and yeah i think i think i mean Maresk is going to be able to do that on a, on a really good level so yeah um interesting one there and and yeah, I think obviously Russell Martin has been confirmed by Southampton. That took a long time. I think it was a lot of that was to do with backroom staff. So and Leeds need to get this done really quickly because you know we're second favourites. It looks like we're six to one to go up to a lot of betting sites, but um, Leicester are the favourites to go up. I think at four to one. So interesting there. Um, yeah. So let us get let us know what you think in the comment section below. Everyone, do you think Leeds should be favourites going up? Do you think Leicester are favourites? Who's your one, two, and playoff um, playoff choices right now? Is it too early to decide? Elan Melier has uh, according to the Athletic got no um, no interest from any club at this moment in time there's been no formal bid for um um for Melier. i think at leeds united are, are open to that which is interesting but you know for someone who essentially came out and i know it was an article and specific things were taken out of the article to make a a general point but for someone who said they want to go somewhere in the premier league and start i think that as a as, a, as, a, as an open thing as an open-ended statement is a little bit deluded elan Mele was dropped for yoel robles for the last four games elan Mele had a horrible season last season i understand players develop but you know i think he's always been good distribution wise at the start of his career but i've never been massively shown his handling his decision making um, his organisation in his own box and I think that has always been the weakness of his game and, and I've never seen that develop even under Marcelo Bielsa really I still thought there was gaps in his game so if he is to leave that's absolutely fine by me but for him to be starting in the Premier League 
there's absolutely no chance. I don't think any club would would take a risk on that either. And, and where would he go? Where does he think he's going to get in? Where where is he better than another goalkeeper in the Premier League? It's an interesting question. And overall, I don't think Leeds are going to be making. I mean, I've, I've, there was there was talks of thirty, forty million last season. There's absolutely no chance we're making that sort of money back. So fifteen to twenty million would be an unbelievable return. Obviously, we bought him for five million um, from Lorient. But I think the standard that Leeds are at now, the division we're at, I think clubs are going to test us a little bit. But it's probably going to be a club abroad for Elan Melly. And let's not forget, he said that he would want to be starting for Chelsea if Chelsea were to come in for him. I mean, come on. Um, Chelsea are probably d- dense enough to make mo- a move like that, especially if Elan's got a good agent. But, you know, overall, Milan, you're not going to be starting, for, in my opinion, for for any real Premier League club at the minute. Maybe one of the, the, the three going up, I don't know. But yeah, I think performances were that bad last season it's it's uh you can't reward that with a with a starting place i know he's young but his development's not been there whatsoever and you can attribute a lot of that down to the hierarchy at leeds and a lot of the hierarchy because of dense decisions shocking recruitment have meant that players like pascal strout players like robin cock players like elan melier's development has been massively hindered um but that is what it is we're in the situation we're in Um, and tyler adams uh uh finally really something i wanted to touch on (laughs) Apparently, Aston Villa are now showing interest for around about 20 to 25 million. Um, Absolutely fine. (laughs) Listen, let's separate this. You guys know when we first signed Tyler Adams, I was pretty vocal um, in terms of the profile I thought Leeds should have gone and got. Now, working under a Jesse Marsh system, I understand why they went for that. But I thought Jesse Marsh would have been sacked within three months. Um, and I thought Leeds would have moved on to a possession-based manager. And that, you know, the, Tyler Adams would struggle in that system. We even know when he was playing for Leeds United that when there was a high press put on Tyler Adams from opposing teams, especially when they figured out Jesse Marsh's system within the first sort of like six weeks of the new season that, that Jesse had brought all of his players in. I think Tyler was definitely one of the better performers um, in terms of breaking up play and, and winning the ball, and that is his game. But when he's on the ball, um, as I said, right at the start, we signed him. He's, he's, he's very replaceable, very, very replaceable. So I think in a Jesse Marsh system, he was he was decent, he was decent, but his, his, his role will not be the same in a possession-based system. Take sentiment out of it, take the facts, out, you know, take it out of it that you think he's the next David Batty or whatever it is and he's, and he's passion merchant and all this sort of stuff. When you look at it realistically and you look at the tactical imprint of football and the managers that will be coming in and taking over Leeds United, look at Daniel Farker, uh, you look at maybe Scott Parker as well, uh, even Vieira to an extent, you are expecting the managers to dictate possession. Now, if you've got a central midfielder, a conductor in the midfield, the architect of building and bringing leads up the, pit, uh, the field in transition, all of those managers are going to want players who are decent on the ball. Now, as a central midfield General Tyler Adams is 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 good. You know he's good. He's he's captain material. All those tangibles that you can't really measure. Those external things. Um, I don't. I do rate them, but I don't rate them as highly as other people. I think you can get captains elsewhere. I think you can get leaders elsewhere. Um, and leaders and captains aren't worth twenty twenty five million pounds. The twenty twenty five million pound players are players who can play on the floor, get your team up the pitch, and do all of those things. You know, they can lead, but also they can play um, on the floor um, to 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 a, a high level. And I think there are, there are I mean, just to name a few: Ben Sheaf, you know, Gustavo Hamer, Sam Field. All central midfielders who who are better, miles better on the ball than Tyler Adams. So if we are to lose him to Aston Villa, that's fine by me. No problem. I think, as I say, in the Red Bull system, you know, ve- good, good, you know. Uh, but I never, uh, we've not seen Tyler Adams in a possession-based system yet. In a possession-based system yet. And I think in a possession-based system where more is asked of him. Let's say if he was putting that Vincent Company side, that Burnley side, I think he'd have struggled. I think he'd have struggled um, last season because it was all about dictating tempo, moving the ball, left foot, right foot. Um, and I think I think possession-wise, I think you're always going to get, naturally in football subjective, I think you're going to get, especially certain YouTubers um, who, who who really, really value Tyler Adams to a, to, to a next level. Um, I think, uh, personally, I think he's, he's completely wrong. And, and football is subjective. Um, but I think when you're measuring, um, as I say, the tangible, you know, you, you can't measure leadership and all this sort of stuff but presumably even if those th- those three players I just mentioned came into this Leeds United side they'd want to fight for the place they'd want to be you know if 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 a manager demands certain things off them you'd hope that if they were signed for a decent fee for Leeds United which I'd take any of those three by the way of Leeds going into the championship you know Sam Field um, Ben Sheaf or Gustavo Hamer 
any of those players, if they were to come in, I think they would they would hundred percent um take on those 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 you know and display those characteristics as they have done for their clubs right now. So yeah, a hundred percent they're definitely he's definitely replaceable. And if we can get some good money for him, I'm absolutely fine with that. Um and I know uh, he's been he's been decent for Leeds. He's been one of the overperformers, even though he's not played for Leeds for the last year. But I mean, who were the performers? Leeds United were absolutely hideous last season. Um, so fair play to Tyler Adams. Um, but he's he is replaceable. He he is replaceable for me. Um, there are players out there, especially at Championship level, who can do what Tyler Adams can do, but more display a lot better characteristics, especially in a possession based side. So that's fine with me. Elan Mele is fine with me if Leeds United can recruit you know, 50, 60 million for those two combined, what position we'd be in then for two players who are replaceable at this level, especially. So yeah, Villa, if you want to stump up the cash, absolutely fine uh, by me, uh, but maybe not to Leeds fans because, you know, some of them, I do think, over-egg the whole passion stuff and I'd rather have a really good footballer who can then develop those characteristics who may have the, or, or, or who may have those characteristics already. Uh, guys, uh, let me know what you think about Tyler Adams, Eli Mele and the manager choice. Really interested to hear what you guys think. Thanks for support as always. If you want some bonus content, I am at, whole, at home with my old man and don't worry, we are getting a generation leads out on the Patreon account at last. We've got loads to talk about. Guys, have a good one. I'll see you in a bit.